Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, today we'll take a look at Australian dollar, mostly because uh, it has the same picture as on the euro currency, uh, but it's a bit more clear than the euro currency, so we will make some parallel analysis of the euro currency and Australian dollar. So Australian dollar, as you can see on the daily chart, we could get a chance to see uh, the hand shoulders passion, so this could become left shoulder and head. Right now, market stands right at around the neckline. It's interesting that uh, this neckline, some kind of the neckline here could be, it's also daily oversold and monthly pivot support one. So here, theoretically, market should start bounce up to show the deep retracement and to form right shoulder. As we have 127 head and shoulders, so difference between the shoulder and head is approximately 127 ratio. It means that this shoulder also should be high. It's approximately somewhere in the range between 79, 80, 80, 25, somewhere in this, in this area should be the top of this shoulder. So this significant move. After that, if we will get these hand shoulders, we could get some kind of the A, B, C, top, D pattern. It's moving to the target of these hand shoulders and deeper retracement is possible. That's the trading plan that we see on the Australian dollar. On the four-hour time frame chart, why we think that this action really could start today? Because if you'll take a look at the four-hour time frame chart, you'll see that market has completed 1618 extension target of this A, B, C, top 1618. So extension down has been completed and has been completed right around the previous lows. That is also the lever sold and monthly pivot support one. So very uh, strong support area and market has completed extension. So it means that uh, this is most probable point where the upward action could, could be reestablished, could, could start. At the same time, on the hourly chart, guys, market is forming right now the reverse hand shoulders patterns, minor pattern that could put the starting moment for upward action. Now you see already this market starting to tending higher, so that could become the reverse, uh, the, the pattern that will be the triggering one for starting of the upward action on Australian dollar. On the euro currency, guys, uh, we have approximately the same because we, we talked about recently. As you can see the same shape of the possible hand shoulders pattern. Market is starting to move up, but what is not really uh, very good for the hand shoulders here. Uh, the one moment difference, so on the four hour time frame chart, Australian dollar has reached this 1618 extension, while on the euro currency, market has not reached it and just stopped downward action on our recent butterfly. Recall that yesterday, here in this moment, we have talked about the taking the long position because all targets in the intraday charts have been met. And now you see that market indeed. Here's our regardless triple to buy that we have discussed yesterday, and did market right now tending, tending higher. So uh, also is forming the hand shoulders. So you can see almost the, absolutely the same situation as on the uh, Australian dollar. The major difference there, guys, is that um, in Australian dollar the passion looks a bit more um, harmonic. So because market stands lows approximately the same are equal on the four-hour time frame chart. This patient has been completed, while on the euro currency it's a bit more blur, uh, not as uh, harmonic as an Australian dollar. But mostly, as here and there, situation set up mostly the same. So that's why uh, it's a really big chance that market could start some upward bounce here that could last uh, today and maybe in the next week, probably in the first half of the week, uh, because it's really significant distance that market should pass as on the Australian dollar, as on the euro currency. But overall situation, how market behaves recently, 
and especially on the euro accounts, if you remember, we talked about it recently, that market stands deeply oversold within the free sessions. This is, it means that the pressure on the euro accounts is, is significant, and it's although the bounce is starting here, it really could mean that we could get larger range orders, and, and li later, closer to the end of the next week, we probably could get the continuation here to the downside. So that is most probable scenario that we see right now as on the euro currency, as on the Australian dollar.